Hi guys! Welcome to another What I Ate Wednesday where I show you what I ate on Tuesday on Wednesday. Some days I just wake up wanting fresh crunchy things. This was one of those days. So for breakfast I had some cucumbers, some chopped pea shoots, some instant noodles mixed with seasonings, and some veggie tofu. The noodles are dressed with just enough seasonings to flavor everything else, but I also added some lime juice for a burst of brightness which is especially good with cucumber. If you're in the mood for fresh, crunchy things, salad rolls are also a great option. I have a video for making mango salad rolls with spicy peanut sauce that you can watch if you want to learn how to make them. Also check out these yummy salad rolls made by Instagrammers Bad Vegan Cook and Figless Fruitarian. Thank you guys very much for tagging me in your photos. I work freelance so some days are super slow and sometimes they are super busy. This was a busy day, so for lunch I wanted to quickly fry up some dumplings. Get some brown on them first. Then add water to steam cook them and let the water boil away. I got a little bored and stepped away from the stove for a minute. That was a bad idea. The water boiled away and my dumplings were stuck. I added a little water to help the dumplings get unstuck, and luckily they didn't get too burnt and get that gross burnt smoky taste. They do look ugly though. Ugly or not, dumplings need sauce. This is one heaping teaspoon of sambal olek and about a half tablespoon of maple syrup. You can also use a quote unquote vegan honey like this one made with apple juice, lemon, and sugar. Also check out this apple honey made by Instagrammer This Vegan Mom. The color looks so perfect. Reminds me that I need to pick up some fresh pressed apple juice and make a new batch. So the dumplings were still good. But let this be a lesson. Do not leave your hot stove unattended. It's not safe. I just got lucky this time. In the afternoon, it was time to have that tea that I usually have first thing in the morning. Today I have vanilla honeybush tea from Stash. Honeybush is a plant from South Africa that has a taste sort of like rooibos. It's not actually honey, nor does it have a real honey taste. It's a nice tea, not bad, not amazing, but it's good. For dinner, I started with a teaspoon of garlic butter. Not dairy butter, but a vegan kind, earth balanced buttery spread. In the hot pan, I added one sliced king oyster mushroom, a little water, chopped pressed tofu, celery, and cooked until the water evaporated. Then I quickly rinsed out the hot pan, wiped it down real quick, and back on the stove it goes. Another teaspoon of garlic butter and in goes some fresh chopped kale. I covered it just to let it cook for a minute, but then I turned my back to wash some other dishes in the meantime, and guys, you would think I had learned my lesson earlier in the day, but no. I slightly burnt the kale. Luckily it wasn't bad enough to affect the flavor. So on with the rest. I mixed some warm penne with creamy vegan alfredo sauce on the stove over medium heat. The recipe is from the 30 day vegan challenge and it's amazing. Click here to watch my review of the book by Colleen Patrick Goudreau. The sauce gets quite thick after a bit. So that was dinner. Creamy Alfredo with juicy king oyster mushrooms, crunchy celery, and tofu with a side of delicious garlicky kale. Only a little burnt. Do you have any kitchen disaster stories to share? Let me know in the comments below so we can have a laugh and also maybe learn from each other's mistakes. Maybe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.